Hi, it's nice to see you again in my new video. In this behind the scenes movie episode, I gonna share with you how to capture staring night in urban areas without have to go too far away from your house. You know, when the weather is great, there's not so much light pollution, you can still capture a very beautiful staring night with your OneShot 360 camera. And today in this video, I gonna show you how I did it. My name is Yu Guo, a 360 photographer lover and specialize in one shot 360 photography. If you want to start over and master your one shot 360 camera beyond professional, this channel was made for you. Okay, let's jump to the start. Because it was so dark, I cannot vlog for you guys, so I will only show you my screen capture. You can see I have taken a test shot as ISO 1600 with f2.1 and preview the image in post. You can see the noise. It's, it's very heavy, so you cannot see any stars. You cannot distinguish any stars in the sky. So I will lower the ISO to ISO 400 and take another test shot. You can see, in this case, you will see some stars in the sky. So I will finally decide to shoot as ISO 400 and switch to the multi-bracket shooting mode and shoot multiple shots with exactly the same settings and make stack in post in RAW Plus. This is how my, I configure my multi-bracket shooting mode. And after a short while, it will take 8 shots one by one. And you do have uh, plenty of time. You can take multiple multi-bracket shooting. For example, you can take two set of 8 shots in multi-bracket shooting. So you will end up with 16 DNG shots. And if you stack all these files in RAW Plus, you will get a very high imaging quality for post-process. One more thing I want to share with you guys is that you can also take the shot with the composite light shooting mode in the Ricoh Theta Z1, and that will give you a star's tail directly from the camera. Now we are in the post-process, and first step, I will stack the, all the DNG file in RAW Plus, but I will choose different reference images for the future light composition in Photoshop. So you can see I have added this 16 DNG file into RAW Plus multiple times and choose multiple reference images for the image stacking so that I will end up get a multiple 16-bit high quality DNG file from the same DNG sequences. And after that I will post process on these high quality DNG files and make light composition on this shot and finally, I will end up with a very high quality tip file for the Ricoh Theta stitcher to stitch for me. And first, I will check if the imaging quality is good or not. And I will apply some post process. You can see I play with the sliders in Adobe Camera Raw, and it's not that hard. And you can see I was standing on a balcony, and I can wipe myself with other stuff. Here you can see this is a shot from a single DNG is very noisy, but the signal to noise ratio for the stars is very good. So I will focus only on the sky and make some post process and composite all these imaging sequences in Photoshop with layer blend and the lighting option. Import all the imaging sequences to Adobe Photoshop. You can see I'm, I'm importing these files one by one and select all the files and uh, stack them with lighting so I will end up with a very beautiful light tails. And this is all what is happening behind my uh, light composition, some post process and fine tune in Photoshop. It's not, it's not hard at all. As you can see I have explained every step. Here I will try to blend the light in the sky and the light in on the road because the car was just moving passing by okay and later on i will uh, stitch in the recall theta stitcher again i will cheat the recall theta stitcher by renaming tricks as you know you know my tricks well and i will stitch directly in the recall theta stitcher 2.0 and i will end up with a high quality 16-bit stitched tip file directly from the Ricoh Theta Stitcher. And after that, I can make some fine tuning in the, directly in the Lightroom and make this image pop. And later on, I will share this image 
on the Facebook or on the Twitter or on some other virtual tour platform with my friend. And this is how I get this Starry Night photo. To capture starry night in urban areas with your OneShot 360 camera, you need to shoot in RAW mode and you need to do photo stacking in RAW Plus or some other stacking software to improve the signal to noise ratio. And because the sensor size of the OneShot 360 camera is relatively smaller compared with the DSLR, so shooting as lower ISO is better than higher ISO. And in this video, I have shot with ISO 400 because with ISO 1600, the signal noise ratio is not that good enough to capture the stars and the sky. So to capture starry night, you need a wide aperture, not so high ISO, and shoot multiple shots and stack in post to increase the signal noise ratio. And you can also composite the light to exaggerate the star's tails. And if you want to capture starry night, in the urban areas near your house. I hope this video could help you get some workaround solution. I hope you have a best day and the best life, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.